everyone. When a function y equals a to the power of x squared minus 4x plus 6 has the maximum value of 1 divided by 100, we're going to find the value of our constant a. So for this a here. So looking at, let's uh, break it up. We can have, uh, our a has to be positive. Uh, but if a is greater than 1, so for example, if this is y equals 2 to some f of x, say, then it's, it cannot have a maximum value. So there's no maximum value here. Because this is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger or go off. So there's not going to be a maximum value for this. It, it just goes off to infinity. So let's try if a equals 1. If we have a equals 1, then we have y equals 1 to some f of x. Letting this be f of x. And that means um, it can never be a maximum value of 1 divided by 100 because the maximum value would always equal 1. Right? So that can't. So these two can't work. So the only time this is going to work is if uh, we have 0. Uh, a is greater than 0 but less than 1. And what that means is we're going to have, uh, and I'm going to erase some of this here. That means um, we have a fraction for a. So 1 divided by 2 to some f of x. Now that can have a maximum value that will be in a fraction form. All right. So basically, to do that, let's let f of x equal our exponent, which is x squared minus 4x plus 6. All right, and um, when f of x has a minimum value, so when this is a minimum value, then y equals a to the power of f of x has a maximum value. And just for a little, uh, let's say a is one half. So if we have one half cube, and then we have one half uh, squared. So basically, um, when this uh, uh, f of x is minimum, for example, this is smaller than the three, right? So this is your f of x, and this gives you one fourth, and this gives you one eighth. This gives you a bigger number. So basically, when we get the minimum number uh, for f of x, then uh, y equals a to the power of f of x is going to be maximum. Okay? So the smaller this number, the bigger the, um, the value. All right. So let's look at this and factor this. So when you factor this, we're going to get, um, let's see, um, Let's do complete the square. So we have, let's set it as f of x equals uh, x squared minus 4x. And when you complete the square, you have to add 4. And so we're going to take that. Um, since we're adding 4, we also have to subtract 4 plus 6. Now using a perfect squared trinomial, uh, this is going to give you uh, x minus 2 squared. And then you have plus um, uh, 2. All right. So basically, this is going to be greater than or equal to 2. If you just look at that, because the y-intercept is 2. And your x value is 2, 2. So that means it's going to be greater than or equal to 2. So therefore, the minimum value of f of x is 2. Right, because this is the vertex. This is 2 comma 2, and it occurs at 2. Therefore, the maximum value of y equals a to the power of f of x equals a squared. Therefore, um, a squared, this is going to be your maximum value. Let me write maximum value. Therefore, uh, a squared equals our maximum value 
of 1 divided by 100, which equals 1 divided by 10 squared. And our A is positive, therefore A equals 1 divided by 10. And that's your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.